Now that uh, my colleague, my wise colleague uh, there said that we have so many uh, bursary kits uh, in different uh, dockets, the, starting from the MCA up to the presidential, your office also has a bursary. I don't know if that is true, but you'll, you know it yourself. So if we can constitute it into one kit and make education completely free or reduce the cost of programs, that will be very appropriate. And this model will work. Why don't we consolidate all bursaries? The ones for the MCA, Member of Parliament, Women Rep, Governor. Um, uh, somebody suggested that I have some bursary. I don't have, <laughs> just for the record, I don't have any bursary kitty. Um, in fact, um, when I was uh, Minister for Higher Education, there was a bursary at the Ministry. And that bursary used to benefit people who have connection. Um, the CEO of Help Then knows. I said that bursary should be transferred. It used to be 100 million shillings every year. I said that bursary should be transferred to Higher Education Loans Board. In fact, it is the money that began the capitation and, uh, and scholarship for our Tibet institutions. I agree with you that uh, it's a positive proposition. It is something that we need to have a conversation about. It is something that I will engage governors about because uh, in our constitution, it is the counties. Once money has been given to the counties, I have no authority as president to decide for the counties. But I think a national conversation that consolidates all these bursaries, and then we see how far it can go towards making our education affordable is a very positive conversation. I am ready to engage in that conversation and provide leadership in that conversation.